Yo, what's going on, boy? Ghost here. Today, I am bringing you guys another comparison video between the Buff Craig and Amax. Now, ever since the new season three update, the discussion of the best they are have been taken over by the Amax and Craig. And right now, they're undoubtedly the top two best they are in the game. And there might be some people that might say the Farah or the AK, but those weapons are a lot better for secondaries as opposed to being primaries. Um, and I know some of you guys may be already thinking that, oh, the Amex is clearly better than the Craig, but hold on, hold your horses, man. I don't know, let's get into the comparison, then let's formulate opinions and thoughts later on. But, yeah, man, with that being said, before we get into it, I want to say if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, we're on the road to 2K. Um, and also, if you find this video informative or useful, hit the like button. Let's get to, like, 15 likes. You know, just shoot 15 likes. Don't normally ask for likes, but, you know, if we can hit that goal, that'd be amazing. And, um, also, if you always need any other form of entertaining entertainment um so go follow your boy on twitch at always close underscore we you know i'm trying to grind season three a lot more now in terms of streaming because this season has been so much fun recently and i cannot stop playing this game but anyway that means that man let's get into the comparison and here we have the recoil pattern for a base craig as you can see it's not too crazy not a crazy complex recoil pattern and when you put on your attachments and you're able to control the recoil it's going to be super easy a very beginner friendly weapon and you know I, I know a lot of people out there like those type of weapons and uh, cater to those type of weapons so now let's quickly go over what the buffs were for the um craig basically all it was it was damage increases from like the torso or the mid like you know upper body neck area the damage multipliers and damage values overall were just increased making it stronger obviously and that already adds on to the top of the fact that this gun pretty much has no recoil very easy to control so it makes characteristics for a meta weapon. And I've always said from the beginning that this weapon was supposed to be meta. From the integration, I already knew that this was going to be that weapon to eventually become meta. Now, I didn't really expect it to get buffed. Um, mostly because, you know, Raven always fails us. But seeing this guy getting a buff made me really happy. Because I knew now that the Craig was going to be able to get a spotlight. And this weapon just does it all. Like, it's a very good... Use, like it's a very good weapon, but I feel like the one flaw that it has, like I don't know, like it might just be me, but like bullets, I feel like sometimes don't register. You know, like the colder weapons, especially ARs, feel like the bullets don't go where you shoot them. Like I could be shooting somebody if they're like moving. Like, let's just say they're on a mountain, right? And they're moving like at a like a weird angle. Like they're going from the top, but they start going right. Like if I'm shooting as they're moving right. I feel like my bullets aren't really going to be, you know, they, 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 they start going everywhere. Like, if I had Bloom, if you guys aren't familiar with Bloom, you know what I'm saying, shout out Fortnite. Basically, you shoot someone and, like, although you are shooting directly at them, the bullets have, like, a random bullet trail. Like, they're not going to hit, the, like, directly where you want it to. That's what I feel like these weapons have. Like, obviously, they probably don't have them and, yeah, they more than likely don't have it, but it just feels like that. It doesn't feel like I'm 100% accurate, even though my crosshairs is right on them. I don't know if anyone else has that feeling, but that's just personally how I feel. However, you know, obviously the damage, no recoil makes up for it. This gun is still really amazing. And especially the Amax, damage-wise, I don't think it's at that level. But, you know, it's capable of gunning Amaxes. It's capable of just being that Amax competitor because it has all the right things to it. Like, you know, normally, you know, you could be like, oh yeah, this weapon could be a substitute for the Amax, or this weapon could be, you know, you don't want to use an Amax. But no, this gun is in direct competition with the Amax. That's how good it is. And I, like, a lot of people right now are like, kind of just starting to lean back over towards the Amax, calling it the best AR in the game without even really giving it a chance on Craig. I've seen a lot of people talk crazy about the Craig. Like, this weapon is a weak. I've seen a few comments on my uh, Craig video where like, oh, this gun, like, TTK's too slow, or it's weak, and it just has me mind blown, because it reminds me of the Kilo meta when people were calling that weak and saying things like the M13 was, but I've been seeing some crazy claims over the last few days with the Craig, like, the Kilo was better, the M13 could be better, like, whoa, whoa, like, yo, can we, let's stop the Craig slander, because this weapon is easily a top two, top three AR in the game, and on, the, on good days, it's better than the AMAX. No cap. And I'm tired of seeing this slander. Now, something that I forgot to mention, and I'm kind of off topic, but one of the sites that I'm using, obviously, is Division Tech three times. Um, but there's this one site called the Zooset Multi-Zoom, where the recoil also becomes non-existent. I'm pretty sure they didn't fix it in this recent update, and that site still gives you less recoil. And I don't know, man. If you guys want to try that out as well, maybe you you feel like things are weird, make sure to try the Suzette Multi-Zoom before you form your full opinions. I've used it in the past. I haven't used it recently, but I know it's really good. 
But yeah, I don't know. Just a, just a random consideration. But that being said, man, let's get into the AMAX. And here we have the recoil pattern for the AMAX, which is actually very similar to the Craig's one, but this one has obviously a little bit more recoil. And that's that recoil that steers people away from using this gun. But I think a lot more people are going to try to get comfortable with it because right now it's being considered by a, a lot of people. I, I would say majority of people are considering or starting to lean over the AMAX with such. But um, I, I feel like the people who will not be able to deal with this recoil are going to like lean over to the other ARs, the Craig, you know what I'm saying? Me personally, um, I'm going to still use both the Craig and AMAX. Um, but if a theoretical, if I had to like play competitively, wasn't like you know, if I was in like a tournament or something, I'm not gonna lie, I probably would go with the Amex, just because like, bro, like this gun is just overall like it has everything that the gun a metal weapon should have. The damage is crazy. The recoil to me is not that hard, not that like crazy. Um, very easy to control this recoil, even with like the commando foregrip. Whatever foregrip you use is pretty much easy to control. Um, I know some people can't, which is shocking, control their AMX. Is like, by no means, or at least in my opinion, it's not like this crazy complex weapon that only like the top 1% players could use it. Like, only because they're so good at controlling recoil, they can use it. Like, that's not how I see it. This gun is not necessarily as beginner friendly as a Craig is, but I still think it isn't that hard of a weapon to use. You know, I don't, maybe some of you guys might disagree with me on that, but I feel a majority of people will agree that the gun's recoil isn't that hard to control. And obviously, the damage is a lot better than the Craig, and the overall, I'm pretty sure the range and just ability to hit shots, like, the accuracy of this weapon is just way better. Um, the Craig, though, again, it's, that's the, I think it's still a monster. Don't get me wrong. Like, that thing will... If you're not careful, you're going to get put down by a Craig. And look, I think right now the Landscape of Warzone, the, these are going to be the top two. Like gonna, It's going to be a two-headed dragon. Everyone's going to be using it. Um, and I'm actually, like, now thinking about it, I've, I've heard a lot of people in the past bring up concern about the AMAX potentially getting nerfed. And I've been asked a few questions before if I believe that the AMAX is going to get nerfed. And I always said no, because to me it wouldn't make sense to nerf the AMAX. But I don't know, man. I'm low-key... I don't want to like manifest it, but I could see a nerf of the AMAX come, which would suck because I feel like that would kind of ruin a little, like ruin the landscape a little bit. But like, take a look at, for example, the kilo. Like that kilo, I would have never guessed that the kilo would have been nerfed. But I guess due to its popular usage or it's just overall usage being very high, it just got nerfed, got put in the ground. And the AMAX has, like, never really been the true meta. Like, it has had its moments where it's been a top gun, people use it, but it's never been, like, the face of Warzone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't hop on him like, oh, I gotta play AMAX zone, you know? Like, it hasn't never, it's never been like that. Like, it's always been overshadowed by another weapon. It's always been, like, like, think of it, like, again, let's go back to the two-headed dragon. Like, it's always been the little head on that two-headed dragon. But now... It's starting to seem like it's becoming the big head. And, like, the Craig is going to the set, like, the little head. And I know for the people out there that are, like, scared that the AMAX is going to get nerfed, I'm not going to lie. I think that fear is very warranted because I think the potential nerf for the AMAX could be seen. Which, again, I don't want it to happen because this weapon, compared to the other metas that we've had, is very balanced compared to, like, an AUG, an M16, a uh, DMR. Like, bro, this weapon is to me not an over like a broken weapon it might seem overpowered but considering the fact that some people don't even want to use it because they feel like they can't control it and overall most people think that like you know not anyone can just pick it up and use it like i do feel like there's a little bit of a skill gap on this weapon or a, a whole hell of a bigger skill gap than the other weapons that we've had but i don't know man I, we'll see what um raven done we'll see if they uh feel like the amex deserves a nerf because right now i gotta say the meta the landscape of Warzone is amazing. The secondary meta is home. Don't even get me started on and you know, be sure there's gonna be a lot of comparison videos coming up very soon about the secondaries of Warzone because there's a lot to talk about in that department. Um and, but as for the main ARs, like the two right now that I think are on top are the key are oh, almost a kilo, Amax and um Craig. But again, I have been seeing a lot more people experimenting with other weapons, and I wouldn't be surprised if in a few more weeks we're gonna have more weapons to add to the conversation because there's going to be, there still hasn't been a lot of experimenting done. You know what I'm saying? People are just barely starting out, trying to find out what they like. And right now, the Amex and Craig are the ones everyone's leaning towards too. But I wouldn't be surprised if another weapon 
comes out of the shadows and rivals these two. But right now, these two weapons are the two-headed dragon. And I'm actually very curious to see as the season develops if any weapons are going to come out of the shadows. Because if it does, it's going to make this landscape even more interesting. But anyways, man. With that being said, let me know what you guys think about the current Metal of Warzone. What do you guys think about these two specific weapons, the AMX and Craig? And um, yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys later. And I'm out. Peace.